You see my cameraman back here dancing with me. My director's got moves, baby. <laughs> hello, 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 and welcome to Recipe of the Day. As you know, we are celebrating a special month this month, and we are celebrating the pumpkin this month. And it is pumpkin month here on Recipe of the Day, and we have made so many yummy things already with many more on deck. But today we are going to be making breakfast pumpkin things. So we are going to be making a stuffed pumpkin French toast today that looks absolutely delicious. So let me know who wants that one. And then I'm going to make baked pumpkin oatmeal. So both of these recipes you could make the night before and put them in the fridge and then all you have to do is pull them out and bake them in the morning. So real easy. Um, I know everyone is looking for new things for meals with your kids at home. I know we are. Um, trying new things, baking new things, cooking new things, eating new things. So today we're going to be doing, I'm going to start with this pumpkin, stuffed pumpkin French toast. OMG. So let's get started. Get my bowl here. Hey Rhonda, how are you? Welcome. We're going to get started with our, um, our uh, custard for the French toast. So I am going to, um, I already greased mine. I'm going to make this in a giveaway pan. So who's my lucky win uh, winner? today um, and I'm going to combine here the start with the pumpkin now the recipe called for hey Denise and Florence welcome to drain the pumpkin now this pumpkin is not watery some brands might be but I did put it in the sieve and tried to push it through and it really wasn't that much liquid in the pumpkin so I um, got it going on here we got a little bit out but I mean like a tablespoon so the Trader Joe's pumpkin, what I have come to the conclusion, it is not watery. <laughs> but there's the pumpkin in there. So let's get started with that. And then um, we're going to go one can of sweetened condensed milk. But I um, had this sweetened condensed milk, same thing. Um, and I'm just going to use this because it's the same amount, 14 ounces. So we're going to pour that in there, which is the same amount as a can of sweetened condensed milk. So we're putting that in there. And then we're going to put some regular milk, one cup of regular milk in here, which I have measured here. So I'll put that in there. This is going to be yummy. If I can sit that up there on the bowl and let it go on its own. What do you think? It'll stand there? I don't think it will. <laughs> so you know what? I'm going to stand it up right there and let it keep draining out of there. Okay. So that's our, um, our pumpkin. Uh, and the condensed milk, regular milk, okay, vanilla and cinnamon. So I've got my vanilla here, and I will measure, because you guys are watching. I'm going to do my cinnamon first. I'm actually going to use my homemade pumpkin spice that we made on the first show. So pumpkin spice here, we've got cinnamon and allspice and ginger and all the yummy things that are in our homemade pumpkin spice. So I'm going to put a teaspoon of that in. I'm going to put more than that. Teaspoon. Got my two recipes going in front of me here. So, come on baby. So a teaspoon of pumpkin spice going in there to flavor that, our yummy custard here. And then here's a teaspoon of vanilla. Of course, I always use a very generous teaspoon of vanilla. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. Oh, uh, yummy. I need to use a whisk on this to do it faster for my people watching. Got a whisk though, right here. Oh my gosh, it smells yummy. Yes it does. This is gonna be so delicious. Pumpkin stuffed French toast. Yummy. And wait till you see this bread that I got. Oh my gosh, yummy. Okay, so that's, we started with that. So make sure I got everything in here. Um, now we're gonna put our eggs in. And I've got four eggs here I'm going to crack in to our custard. I let them warm up a little bit. Took them out so that they could come up to temperature because they mix in a little bit better. Yum! And how is everyone today? This family, do you believe it's October? That it's going to be Halloween in two weeks? I can't believe it. But I'm ready. I got my full size candy bars. I'm ready for Halloween. Of course, I could not find any orange lights. I wanted to put some orange lights outside, 
and I could not find any. It's already Christmas in the stores, so I don't know. I missed Halloween, I guess, was in the stores in like June, but I missed it. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about orange lights in June. So, oh my gosh, this smells delicious. Okay, let's so make sure I got everything in here. So, da 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 da. A little bit of butter, one tablespoon. So we're gonna, of course, carefully measure that. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get started here. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt. I call for salt, but I'm gonna put some because I just think everything is better with a little bit of salt. Brings out the, cuts the sweetness. Okay, oh my gosh, this looks like heaven. Like liquid pumpkin pie, holy moly. Okay, so now I'm gonna move my trash here. I don't know if I'm going to get any more condensed milk out, uh, out of that or not. Oh yeah, a little bit. Okay, yeah. And by the way, if you buy the condensed milk in that format, it's what they use at the coffee places for sweet drinks. Have you tried that Havana, I think that's what it's called, a Havana um, uh, cappuccino or something? Oh my gosh, it has that condensed milk. Holy guacamole, delicious. At Pete's. I'm a Pete's girl very loyal pizza girl. Hey Susan, how are you? Oh, Amazon. Yeah, I looked. I don't know, I have to look again. But I didn't find, you know, just some regular orange lights I could string on the front ba uh, balcony. Okay, so here's my pan. I'm doing this in a foil pan to give away. Now it's going to make more. I'm going to make two of these, but I'm only going to make one while you guys are watching. So the bread that I've got going here, I the recipe calls for brioche and I had a loaf in my cart. But then, look at this, it's called French Toast Bread. And I'm like, what does that mean? So, and it was thick like the brioche was. Can you see? This is like, like almost an inch thick. But it has cinnamon or something in it. The package didn't say, but oh, you like my orange nails? Ginger did, did my nails and they're orange for pumpkin month. And they turned out great, don't you think? Anyway, the French Toast Bread looks like it has cinnamon swirl in it. So, I mean, yum. So I'm going to dunk away here. So I'm going to dunk it, the bread in our custard that smells delicious. Oh my gosh. This is going to be very full, my little pan here. Might have to use a bigger pan. And we're going to squish this in, four pieces on the bottom. Oh my gosh. Yum, this is so thick, it's like heaven, this custard that we made here. With our French toast bread. Okay, we're going to shove that one down there. Okay, now to this, I'm going to have to wipe off my hand for this step. Hold on. Because the next step is we're going to take, now I just did this while I was waiting for you. I beat two um, blocks of cream cheese with about three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar, and that's in here. Because I didn't think you guys wanted to listen to me whip this while we were live. So I just did did it a second ago. The cream cheese was um, room temperature, so it's soft, so it whips really easily. And then I'm just going to take our cream cheese with the powdered sugar, and we are going to spread it in the middle of this. Oh my goodness. And it is quite warm here today. Those of you that are around here, October, we have the best weather in September, October, November here, and the most beautiful sunsets over the ocean in December. But today, it is very warm. So my cream cheese is very soft. <laughs> so I'm going to spread a layer of our deliciousness here in the middle. So once you bake this, you're going to end up with such a yummy, creamy surprise in the middle of this. This is what drew me to this recipe was the cream cheese filling. Because <laughs> what's not good with a cream cheese filling? Holy moly. Okay, so I'm going to get this all the way to the side here. And then we're going to do another layer of the bread on this. And then we have a yummy topping. So let's do four more slices of this. This looks yummy. Oh my gosh. Now you could do this the night before if you um, uh, wanted to. And then in the morning, like I said, you just pull it out. Boom. Oh, this kind of making a mess here. Pull it out and put it in the oven, which I always like. Especially if you have house guests. Boom, it's easy. It's already done and made, and you can pull it out and cook it in the morning. Okay, so there is four more slices of this yummy French toast bread. Make that one fit in there. My engineering there 
Okay, now I'm going to make a topping for this. Oh my goodness. I hope my lid's stuck inside there that I'm making a mess of it. Hold on. Rinse off my French toast hands and then I'm going to make the topping. So I'm going to use this right here. I think I'm going to use this one. I have about a cup three quarters of a cup of chopped pecans that I just pulled out of the freezer and chopped them up and I moved this a little bit and I have half a cup of brown su su uh, sugar measure in there and then I'm going to mix this up a little bit and I'm going to put some butter, about three tablespoons of butter and I'm going to make a crunchy topping. This is probably a little bit more nuts than what the recipe called for but I, um, I like it crunchy. I like topping. So I thought my recipe, I can use a few more nuts. Because who doesn't need more nuts, huh? Who's nuts? So I'm going to put the butter, the rest of it in here, about three tablespoons or so, and get this all softened up. I'm going to sprinkle it on top. And that is our pumpkin stuffed pumpkin cream cheese French toast yumminess. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. We just made like caramel syrup here with the brown sugar and the pumpkin. Okay, so I'm going to take out, you know what, because I have so much of this liquid here, I'm just going to take a little bit more and stick it on here before I put the topping on because what are we going to do with all this delicious custard if I don't get it in the pan? And the bread will absorb more because I'm not going to bake this right away. One of our local Ventura people is going to be getting this on their doorstep. So... Maybe someone with the most kids, with the most mouths <laughs> to feed. Oh my goodness, how are all my mamas out there today? My mamas homeschooling with their kiddos. What's for dinner, mom? What's for breakfast, mom? Well, here's a new idea. Okay, so I'm gonna take this just with my hands and sprinkle our nuts and brown sugar and butter on top of this. Hey, Seal, how are you, girl? We are making pumpkin stuffed French toast today, and it looks delicious, I must say. Our yummy custard, and there we go. This looks delish. So there's one ready to go in the oven for your yummy breakfast. This could be dessert too, but look at that. Yeah, yummy! So I'll move this out of the way here. And uh, I'm going to wipe this up real quick before we start our next one. So hold on a second. And of course, to stick with our theme here, I even have an orange sponge. Because we're doing it orange. Pumpkin month, it is. You have any pumpkin recipes that you've seen, send them on in. Because I have been having fun reading recipes. What do you do at night? Watch Netflix? Watch TV? Watch politics? I read recipes. <laughs> Okay, so now our second recipe we're going to make is this baked oatmeal. Oh my goodness, pumpkin oatmeal, overnight oats. So this one looked delicious too. So I'm going to start here. I've got a dry bowl. I've got three cups of oats here, and these are the Trader Joe's gluten-free oats. They're my favorite. They're nice and chewy. I love them. So I'm going to start with that, and then to that, I'm going to try and get, the director wants my things out of the way here. Um, I'm going to put the sugar in. This is about a half a cup of sugar in the bowl here. And I have some baking powder we're going to put in our oats. So it is one teaspoon baking powder. Make sure. Got the right. Yep. Not soda. So baking powder going in. And then uh, we have got a little bit of salt. Like I said, always sweet things. Get a little bit of salt. I'm going to me measure it very carefully. I think it's one teaspoon. Of course, my thumbtack is right in my measurement here. A little bit less than a teaspoon. Measured very carefully. <laughs> Crook of my hand is about a teaspoon, right? Um, cinnamon. Again, I'm going to use my homemade pumpkin spice for this. And I'm going to use two teaspoons of my homemade pumpkin spice to flavor this. Instead of all the individual spices that are on the recipe that you'll see, I'll post the, re the recipes here below on Facebook and then on YouTube. Go to YouTube and see these edited. They're so cute on Ventura Real Estate. And please subscribe. We're still trying to get to 1,000. 
So please subscribe on YouTube to our channel. Okay, those are spices, and I'm going to mix that. Of course, I had a dry, I kept it apart. My other whisk, I had another whisk I got out just for this. Oh, duh, right in front of me. Hello. So I'm going to mix this up. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. That homemade pumpkin spice that we made, it has all the yumminess in it ginger and cloves and allspice and cinnamon. Yummy. This is going to be great too. Again, another re recipe that you can make at night. Make the night before and get it ready to go in the fridge in the morning. So you just have to throw it in and you're ready to go. Okay. Oh my gosh, this one smells delicious. Delicious, delicious. Pumpkin spice. I mean, yum. Everybody loves pumpkin spice, right? That's why we're doing this. Okay, so now our wet ingredients is going to be two eggs. Um, I need some more milk, honey. I need another... Making two. I'm gonna. There's a little more condensed milk in here, but I need about uh, a cup and a quarter of milk in there. And there's gonna be a little bit of condensed milk, won't hurt a thing, that's in the measuring cup. So, two eggs. Make sure I didn't pour it. I don't think I did. I poured one recipe. Making two things, getting myself confused. <laughs> so, whip those a little bit while he's measuring the milk for me. And then. I have more butter going in here. Another batch of butter that I melted separate so I could keep them straight here. So that one's going in to our wet. Ah! Whoopsie! Help! Man overboard! I guess man inboard, huh? <laughs> Whoopsie! Drop the dish. Melted butter. Slippery little sucker. Okay, and then he's got milk going for me here. So here's the milk, and then there's a little bit of condensed milk in the bottom of the measuring cup that won't hurt a thing for what we're making here. Yummy. So I want to get it out. Oh my gosh. This looks delicious. Yes. And I gotta put our pumpkin in here. And with our wet ingredients, I'm gonna throw a can of pumpkin in here. So get this going on here. How is everyone? Hey Megan! Oh good, you can put yours on, we can match. Mika just got her apron that she won, same as the, this one that I have on. So we are, you're all set for your Halloween apron. What are you doing for Halloween, girly? What are you gonna be? Is New Jersey gonna let you answer the door? I hope so. Oh my gosh, yum. Thank heavens for Trader Joe's and the pumpkin. Because evidently it is very hard to find. But Trader Joe's comes through again. Yum! Okay. Take my wet. Mix this in here. Oh my gosh, you guys. Seriously, how yummy are these look? Yeah, baby. Okay. Move this. Move this. Which way do you want me to go there, director? Hold on. I'm making room here. Make, making room. Okay. Oh my gosh, smells so yummy. Yay! Have you made overnight pumpkin oatmeal before? I never have. Like you see the crock pot ones for oatmeal and overnight oatmeal and overnight oats. People make them in the mason jars and stuff. But I had never done it. So here we go. We are making a baked oatmeal here that looks and smells delish. Make sure I got everything in here before I pour it together here. So, got everything in here? Okay. Okay, we're going to mix it all together here. Oh, the vanilla. I just need the vanilla again, which I just put down. Okay. Move this. There we go. Vanilla. Don't need to measure it because you guys are watching. I will. Okay. Let's use the end of that one. That one done. Okay, clear up, oh my gosh, seriously, yum. And then we're gonna mix these two together. So we will put this one into our dry. Oh my goodness gracious. This look and smell delicious and really easy. Mix your wet, mix your dry, mix it together, and boom. Okay, there we go, following my 
Oh, good. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I have such a good costume for this year, but I don't know if we're going to be going to a party or not. It's not looking like it. But hopefully, oh my gosh, I know, doesn't this look good? This looks delicious. So, this is our pumpkin and milk and eggs and oatmeal, vanilla, salt, pumpkin spice, our homemade pumpkin spice in here. And I'm just getting it all mixed together and all wet. And then I'm going to pour it in this dish behind me. Let me get it. It's all but buttered. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Yum! Here we go. I buttered my dish here and I'm going to get this going on into here. And this looks delish. And there you go. Overnight baked pumpkin oatmeal. Doesn't have to be overnight, but it could be. So get this straightened out here. Oh my gosh, that um, French toast. Holy guacamole. Smells delicious. Okay, now there we go. Now if you're watching this on the replay, hashtag replay, because I always like to see my people. I love when my people watch live, and I love it when you guys watch later. So there we go. Yummy pumpkin oatmeal. So our breakfast show, French toast and pumpkin oatmeal, ready to go there. And we have a bunch of birthday shout outs today. So let me just rinse off my hands real quick before I get my birthday shout out hat on. Oh, I forgot my pumpkins. I forgot my costume. I forgot my pumpkins for pumpkin month. Hi Instagrammers. How are you guys? And then birthday shout out hat. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Birthday shout outs today. We have a whole bunch. Let me get my list so I don't forget anyone. I have my cousin Jeff Ward. Happy birthday to you sir. You're just a kid. And then Paul Meehan. Happy birthday Paul. Hope all is well. And then Larry Young, who's a big time Berkshire Hathaway Realtor in Beverly Hills. Happy birthday to you, sir. And then Rhonda McGarra, happy birthday to you, dear. Hope you're doing something fun today. It's such a beautiful day. And we um, love to celebrate our birthday people. So happy birthday to all of you, October birthdays, pumpkins. And then our giveaway today, I have another one of these awesome turquoise Halloween pumpkins that can be a, a carrying bag for your kids. It glows in the dark too. How cute is this? It can be a carry bag for your candy. It can be a centerpiece. It can be a purse. How cute is this? It's totally cute. So I'm going to give away another one of these. Of course it's my color. That's why I loved them. So our turquoise pumpkin today, I do not want to get it dirty with my pumpkin muck here. So if you've commented or liked on these videos here on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, you are in the fish. Hey, there's my sister. Hey, sister, how are you? I know this was my giveaway a couple weeks ago and Megan won one. So Megan just got it today in the mail. Yes, this looks delicious. And our winner of our turquoise pumpkin today is Mary Chris Norris. Mary Chris, happy Halloween to you, girl. And I will get this to you because I need to see you anyway. So congratulations, girl. I'm so excited. Those are one of my favorite things we've given away. It's just darling. So thank you guys for watching. I'm having so much fun with Pumpkin Month. And it is just beautiful out. And we look forward to seeing you here Wednesdays and Saturdays live at 3 o'clock. And remember, we do real estate, GaryandLisa.com. I'm showing property this morning, showing property after the show. But here we are at the show, doing the show, giving you new ideas, trying to help you guys uh, with some new ideas for feeding your families and feeding yourselves um, at this crazy time. So much love to you guys, and we look forward to seeing you here. Remember, there's only two things you can control, your effort and your attitude. So always pick a good one and always do your best. And we will see you here Wednesdays and Saturdays live at 3. Um, here on Instagram, Facebook, and soon to be YouTube Live too. Um, and I have a bonus recipe actually today that I'm, th I'm thinking about while I'm standing here. There's the um, Ben and Jerry's Pumpkin Cheesecake Ice Cream. OMG! Uh, it's so awesome. But a Ben and Jerry's Special Edition Pumpkin Cheesecake. You get the Pumpkin Cheesecake Ice Cream and you put it between two Biscoff cookies, those cinnamon Biscoff cookies, those thin ones. 
and make an ice cream sandwich and you um, are in heaven. So that is my bonus recipe I keep forgetting to tell you guys about, but that is a yummy one. So try the pumpkin uh, ice cream if you're a pumpkin lover. It is delicious. So all my best. We will see you soon. See you on Saturday live at 3 o'clock. Thanks for watching.